It's Sean Lamb here for Streaming Media Producer. We're at Streaming Media East in New York, and I'm working here behind the video production table. Uh, this is one of the keynote rooms, one of the four that we're taking care of. And at the center here of our production workflow is the new Roland V40 HD video switcher. Um, it's an entry-level professional video switcher that has HDMI inputs. Uh, we're using it with two video cameras that are connected via HDMI. Uh, as well, we're also connecting a VGA input. This is coming from the two screens at the front, well, really the presenter's laptop. It's connecting to a VDA, a video distribution amplifier, and we're getting one of the VGA inputs in the back here. Um, one of the really nice features of this video switcher is the fact you can mix both high definition HDMI video as well as analog VGA. A lot of video switchers lack that and, and unfortunately the AV presentation world still stuck a little bit on the VGA standard. So having the ability to put VGA inputs on a HDMI video switcher is excellent. Um, it also has built-in video scalers on each input, uh, which is really nice because sometimes the, um, especially off the VGA, the, the signal isn't the same size. So if we look on the screen here, I do have the ability in the menu to frame, to scale this up, to fill the frame if it's a bit undersized as well. Um, this is the multi-view monitor. Uh, it's coming straight out of the video switcher and it's an HDMI output. It allows me to see the live feed, the program feed, as well as the preview with the green, um, and then any additional inputs that uh, are available to me. Uh, and I just change the live up here by pressing the, uh, the A bus program line and I can change the B bus uh, which is uh, the next uh, video feed to be on call on deck and then using the T bar I can also cut between them. Uh, the signal from here feeds out into a variety of different things but um, the most important uh, for the live webcast is the Teradek cube. So this is taking an HD SDI input uh, we've got an Ethernet internet input coming in, and this is live streaming to Ustream. Um, back here, when it comes back, we'll see the live stream here um, on the page. Um, I'm using a monitor here um, that actually acts, it's a Marshall monitor, and it acts as my <coughs> HDMI to HDSDI converter. So on the back, there are, um, there's one, there's an HDMI input, and there's two optional outputs. One of those outputs goes to uh, the Atomos Samurai. This is the archive recorder. This records the program feed. So as I change um, the program on the video switcher, it comes into here and we're recording that feed. Uh, the output goes into the Teradek and that's the end of the chain that goes to Ustream at the end. Um, one of the really important aspects of producing a live video switch is audio. Video is always important and we always talk about that but the audio I think often gets uh, overlooked and so we're using a soundboard here, um, a Mackie, that has a full-size VU meter on here and this is really important because if we just take a feed off the soundboard we don't have the ability to visually see the audio levels. Um, the Samurai here has a very small VU meter it's not really usable um, my monitor does have a full size as well. It's a very rare feature in a monitor, but that's nice to have. Most of the time you don't. This meter lines up very nicely with the one on the soundboard. So this gives me, this is a submix. Um, so we take the mix off the soundboard that's for the room. I submix it for my feed so I've got control. And, and that's kind of one of the keys to um, a successful webcast is control. Now you don't need the latest and greatest of video cameras for live video webcasting but what you do need is an uncompressed HDMI or HD SDI out. Uh, we're using two cameras here these are both the Sony Z7U and these have an HD, HDMI output. I would kind of say in general terms that this camera is a little bit on the older obsolete side because of its internal HDV codec for internal recording but when you're going uncompressed out or 422 out via the HDMI output, it doesn't really matter what the internal codec is. So uh, if you already have these types of camcorders, you're, you're well set to start web streaming uh, using the HDMI output. This is the Teradek Cube. This is the streaming appliance we're using at Streaming Media East in New York. Um, it has three different uh, options for internet connectivity. So one is the standard Ethernet. Usually we try to use the hardwired Ethernet, um, but it also can use Wi-Fi MIMO. 
uh, look it up, but it's way uh, faster, has a farther reach, I should say, than uh, a standard Wi-Fi connection. And the third is a USB uh, input, so you'd be using those mobile USB 4G or LTE sticks in here. Uh, right now we're Ethernet connected, these are the wires for the uh, Wi-Fi, and there's a USB slot on the side there. Um, this simple little interface here, you can navigate using the, the joystick button here and the, and the red stream button. Um, but you can also, on a laptop, uh, load up the Teradex software and control uh, this device and even monitor your live feed um, directly on a laptop or a computer or even an iPad um, or an iPhone. So it's really neat in terms of those capabilities. Um, the way that we have this one set up is on Ustream. You can see it on the front in tiny letters there. Um, 720p, 2 megabits per second. Once I hit this red button, because everything's preloaded uh, on here, all the settings uh, where we're streaming to, it goes live uh, to Ustream. And at the end, I just push the red button again. So I'm just going to push this quickly here, start broadcast, confirm it, uh, and then it'll give me a confirmation once we're live. We are now streaming live to the internet, just like that on the Teradek Cube. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. This is a look behind the scenes at Streaming Media East.